changes here. No, it <laughs> barely. Oh, look, there's a sushi shop there that wasn't there before. Geneva is becoming a place to be. No, it's not. This is the part that I'm going to feel the weirdest about, I think, because I used to work here and um, I've had most of my nightmares that I've had about being here have for some reason <laughs> been set in this, this mall, <laughs> in this supermarket. I had one quite recently, so being here is like truly going to feel like being inside a nightmare. And I'm going to wake up and I'm, no, 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 being inside one of those, those dreams. You know, sometimes dreams are quite perfect, aren't they? So here we are. Well, in my dream, my most recent one, there was a new bookshop in here, which um, apparently there isn't. So. There we go. It wasn't prophetic. My nightmares are becoming reality. God, this is where I had my first job. I bet some of the same people still work here. Black. The black. Asbestos found at sheds. Everybody here's got my accent. Well, this is where I used to work at this bakery. And uh, this is my first job, and I worked here for like two years. And then I went and moved up in the world and worked at a different bakery in a different supermarket. Salted caramel scroll? Oh Piss God, off. That sounds amazing. Do you want to try one? I don't know. Oh, no. Yes. What? Oh, these. These are the. Oh, these are amazing. We've got new uniforms. Oh, they've totally changed the place. It looks completely different. Oh, it looks well flash. Where are the scones? Oh, fuck yeah, cheese busters. I used to eat these all the time. Not very good for you, but whatever. Nothing's good for you. Oh, this was, this was one of my jobs, was writing happy birthday on the, on the cakes. <laughs> I decorated the cakes and I wrote on them. Oh, yes. Hello. Hello, old friend. I have tried to recreate you many times in Germany and have not really been that successful. Do you want to know a fun fact about the Belgian biscuit? Yes. Um, well, you know, you, you know how you've always wondered why they're called Belgian biscuits? Yes. Well, it's because um, <laughs> when, I, when I got to Germany and I found a very similar biscuit called Speculatius, and I was like, should that taste like a Belgian biscuit? And it turns out that these used to be called German biscuits, oh but God. after the war nothing was allowed to be called German anything. So Is they changed right? it to Belgian biscuits, yeah. Oh, I love these ones, ginger sultana biscuits. All the Americans would be going, what, what, these aren't biscuits, these are cookies. Um, oh, by the way, I'm, just, I'm so sorry that my hair is unimpressive today. But I'm really trying to like rein myself in and not just like buy all the sugary, unhealthy, bad things that I, <laughs> I've missed for so long. I need to get some tea bags for Mr. L. Tiger tea, you can only get this in the South Island of New Zealand. Nectar of the gods. Yes, I'm very familiar with this road because it goes to the Northern Cemetery. My, my favourite cemetery where I used to, you know, haunt at night. But yes, that, there's the sign there, SPCA See, Kennels. Right. Ah, what a nice space. Ah, bellbirds. That looks lovely, doesn't it? Bellbirds. Bellbirds. It's just been so long since I've heard them, that's all. I know, it's lovely. It's like it's alarm bellbirds. It's just so cool. Oh, yeah, these are the bigger cats. There's a dish. Oh, snooze. Oh, babies. Oh, hello. 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 I've made a friend. This one's a for adoption, Yeah. I've made a friend. You yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, you're so sweet. Mm. Kittens are the best thing on earth. They're <laughs> the best thing that nature has given us. I've made a new friend. <laughs> Quite happy here. Hey baby Buster, I hope you have a good life. You're beautiful. You're so smooth. Oh, I like you. Oh, this one's got one eye. Yeah. She, these are all girls. Hello. Hi, hi. Oh, you're, you're purring. You're happy. I just want to pet all the kitties. I just want to pet all the kitties in the world, but I can't. The most famous person buried here is the man who wrote the national anthem, I think. Yeah, yeah I've, I've, I've spent many nights here, um, you know, trying to spook myself. Well, oh, be ye also ready, it says. 
<laughs> Jesus. That's what I want my grave to say. I want it to say something really unsettling. All of these graves are from the, the original settlers of the city, as you can see. So a lot of them are like people who were just fresh off the boat or very young. It's not so spooky in the day, It's but it's bloody spooky at night. I have to tell you, that southern cemetery is real spooky. That, I know, the other one's spookier because it's kind of not as well looked after. Yeah. That place is gnarly and it smells weird too. It it's smells like of, decay. Yeah, it does. So yeah, this is the <laughs> Dunedin's Northern Cemetery. Don't you which... think it's such a waste of land though? What? No. I don't think it's a waste of land. I do. I don't. It's boring land, Frank. You know? Well, there's plenty bloody of it. Like, I've just had a bird's eye view of the country. There was just absolutely miles and miles and miles and miles of mountainous nothingness stretching it off to the horizon. Throp. That's, oh, a, that's a cool name. It's a funny 19, 1894. Wow. Aged 80. 80. That's yeah. a good age. Good shit. Yeah. Well done. Well done, Mrs. Throp. I wish for him to marry this rose bush. I was here one night with my flatmates years ago, and I had this this key ring that was supposed to be like if you if you can't find your keys, like you whistle, and it makes a little kind of noise back so you can find your keys. So this little key ring thing was really annoying and like they all got really sick of it because it just seemed to, you know, think you were always whistling at it and just kept making this annoying whoop, 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 kind of noise. <laughs> and my flatmate, he just grabbed it and like hurled it into the trees. So like we, we put it to rest. <laughs> Yeah, we like we put it to rest in that graveyard. So maybe it's still in there somewhere. We may be buried under the ground. The night time it they hear. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> I mean, that probably happened for a while until it ran out of battery. Oh, that's That'd true. ski, you, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, grizzly! I don't know. It's like so. I had a really good time. I mean, I went to this school for a year and a term. Like, yeah, one year and one term. And I, had, I was really happy, you know, I really enjoyed it. It was like normal people, because where I was before was, you know, not. <laughs> it was a very snobby strict school, whereas this is a very relaxed school. Well, my first day there, somebody was smoking pot in the bathroom, kind of thing, which would get you expelled from Columba, but it was no big deal here, apparently. You remember you were quite mortified about that. I was quite, I'm still mortified that somebody would smoke pot at school. You shouldn't smoke pot at school. But I mean, this sort of was, this showed me what like normal people were like, what like everybody else was like. And it was the first time I ever really experienced bullying too. Like, I mean, in general, I was really happy here. Like, I was really sad to leave. But on the, and it was also the first time I got to know boys because it was a, a co-ed school before I was just at a girls' school. I just got, like, mercilessly fucking bullied here. And uh, I already had, like, you know, below zero self-esteem. And uh, it just made it worse. <laughs> and, you know, that's when I got my first crushes. <laughs> I just didn't know how to handle it and basically just made a complete fool of myself non-stop for that whole year in one term. So this is another nostalgia moment. Um, this is We're going to the local fish and chip shop that, I, <laughs> that we always went to when I was growing up just near here. Absolutely exactly the same in here. It's like the same sign, same chairs. Two pieces of fish and some wontons and the deep fried Mori bar. Not just in Scotland. Everyone thinks it's just in Scotland. No, no, no. this is the other Scotland. This we we carry on. Itself. We carry on all the the greatest Scottish traditions like Burns Night and Haggis, and also deep fried chocolate bar. Looks <laughs> so different in here, but it's the same place. It smells the same. Must have come here like a hundred thousand times. Yeah, I know. I'll get a. A fizzy. No fizzies. Yes, fizzies. You're not the boss of me. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Spaceman candy sticks. Oh, oh yeah, they they took the little red ends off them so that they don't so children can't pretend they're smoking anymore. Well, you can get some of those. I might have to. And get one for Mr. Owl as well. I used to just suck on the ends and make them really sharp and then pretend they were fangs. <laughs> Are you really going to buy me a Hello Kitty yes, pasta dispenser? All right. I'm really going to. Yeah, you have crocodiles. What? No crocodiles. No crocodiles. I don't even know what you're talking about. He's got crocodiles. Oh sweet. It's a purple one right here. Yeah. Let me get it. You take your own. Okay. This is a nostalgia trip, <laughs> and unfortunately that means eating a lot of candy. <laughs> oh my god, a, a killer crocodile, fish and chips, pears. Hello Kitty pears. That's so great. Is that us? Oh, thank you. Thank you. The little bag has a deep fried Moro bar in it, which you might say, well, it's not the same because it's not a deep fried Mars bar. It's actually better because it's bigger. It's more or less the same thing, but it's bigger. I'm gonna have a heart attack, doodah.